Lord. All right. Kelly here. Today I thought I would do something fun. The anti, well, I hope every day it's something fun or every video is something fun. But anyway, today I want to do the anti TBR tag. I will link the original creator of the tag down below and let's dive right in. Alrighty, the first question says a popular book everyone loves that you have no interest in reading. This was actually pretty hard for me because I was trying to find one that I thought had like a huge audience or fandom, whatever. And I don't know if this is still big, but a few years ago, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. That book was everywhere. The movie was huge. I haven't seen the movie. I don't want to read the book. I don't know. It just seems like really sappy and I'm not really into that. If I'm going to read something sad, it's got to be great. And maybe this one is. It did really well, but I have no interest in reading it. So sorry. <laughs> okay, question two. A classic book or author you don't have an interest in reading. There's a lot, I got to say. <laughs> There's a lot of classics and authors from the past that I just, I don't really But for today, <laughs> for this video, I thought I would choose The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Not gonna lie, I read, I think I read like two pages of it years ago. I never had to read it in school, so lucky me. Sorry if you had to. <laughs> but I read the first two pages and I thought, why am I doing this? I don't need to read this. He just seemed like a complete like the main character. I don't remember his name because I don't care, but <laughs> not for me. And I've heard that factoid that I'm sure a lot of you have heard and you know what I'm going to say now that I think that's a common book for murderers to say they have enjoyed. I don't even know where to go with that. Like what? What? Like did it propel them to kill or is it just they happen to all like it. I don't know, but the lead dude in this guy, the male protagonist, I didn't care for in two pages. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Question three, an author whose books you have no interest in reading. Well, there's a lot, but this one, <laughs> this one I saw and I was like, yeah, that's a good one for me to pick. Um, the author is Sarah Dessen. She has a ton of of books. Good for her. Every time I see a cover, I'm just going to flash a few covers beside me while I'm talking about this so you, you can maybe see what I'm saying. They all look so boring to me. The covers look like, ugh. like the cover could be me holding this with a flower and that's a Sarah Dessen cover. Like I just, I don't get it. But they all seem kind of soapy, melodramatic you know, angst filled, which I don't mind some of that, but it just seems like a lot. It seems, this might sound harsh, but it seems like the type of book that people are telling women, female authors that young girls want to read. And I don't want to read that. I think there's a lot of things that young girls want to read and it's not just one thing. I'm not interested in those stories. I have nothing against her. Clearly she's good at what she does. She is a best-selling author. She's written a bajillion books. So good for you, Sarah. I just, I'm just not into it. I'm sorry, but I'm happy for you. And if you like her books, great. Okay. And this was sort of a two-part question. So the next part of the question is a problematic author whose books you have no interest in reading topical. So this one came pretty fast to me. I have no interest in reading any Jay Kristoff books. I've never read any. Uh, I know that he's pretty popular and now things are going a little 
sideways for him. Um, but I just, I remember watching a review. I won't name the booktuber because I'm not sure if I'm correct. So I won't, won't do that to them. <laughs> but I watched a review of Nevernight and the booktuber brought up the fact that in the book, the the young girl who is training to be an assassin at some point gets like plastic surgery done to her as part of her training. Why? I don't know. But so I've never read the book, so I don't have any info on that. But this reviewer was saying that it was a little icky having been written by an older man, like in his 40s, talking about a 17 year old getting breast implants and now she's beautiful and all this stuff like, ew, okay, ew. I'm so tired of dudes writing women like this and being like, yeah, it's great and not creepy at all. No, it's creepy. It's creepy, okay? So I have no interest. I have no interest in all the stuff that's coming out now with, you know, the way that he's written things or just tone deafness and racism. Not interested. Not interested. Next question is an author you have read a couple of books from and have decided their books are not for you. This was a tough one for me because normally if I don't like a book, I just stop. Or if I, yeah, if I don't like a book, I just stop most of the time. I don't make myself finish it. Um, but this one, I read a few of her books because it was just one of those times, one of those times I needed a really ridiculous bingy series but I would never read it again and I definitely wouldn't recommend it um that would be the Royals series by Erin Watt I don't know how many books she's written but I've read three in the Royals series and they're just not very good in my opinion <laughs> it was really like watching a trashy reality show except I was reading it so that's what I mean by like, I was just in the mood for something not super great, <laughs> which is weird to say that, that like, yeah, I wanted to read something bad, but I did. And I read the first three. And then when I finished, I felt kind of like, ugh, like, why did I read those? Why did I buy them? <sighs> Kelly. But anyways, so I'm sure she's lovely. Good for you, girl. I won't be reading any more of your books. Sorry. I'm so Canadian. I keep apologizing. <laughs> it's my opinion. Okay. I'm, you have other people buying your books, I'm sure. So it's not, it's definitely not on my shoulders. I have like no viewers on your book too. <laughs> anyway, moving on. The next question is a genre you have no interest in or a genre you tried to get into and couldn't. This was tricky because I feel like there's always exceptions and I would never want to be like, oh, I'll never read this genre. But I think the closest answer I could give for that would be history or historical fiction. So let me just explain. <laughs> um, I really enjoy learning about history. I loved taking it in school. But when I have to just read a book about history, most of the time it's very dry and it's very academic, which is fine, but it's not my cup of tea. So there's that. And then historical fiction, I said in a previous video, I love the idea of historical fiction. But most of the time when I go to read one, I find it's very slow paced, and I can't really get into it. And that's not to say that there's not great books in that genre. But I do have a couple on my shelf that I'm like, Oh, this sounds interesting. And I haven't finished and I don't know if I will. So <laughs> yeah, I'll probably try again. Maybe some of them, not all of them, but historical fiction. I wish, but it might not be for me. Might not be in the cards for me. <laughs> all right, getting near the end here. A book you have bought but will never read or a book that you have unhauled or returned to the library unread. Okay, so the first thing that came to my mind was recently I took out The Outsiders. So I took out that book from the library and I had this goal that I would read one classic a month. Hasn't been going well. So I took it out thinking so many people I know have read this, they had to read it in school. I didn't have to. 
So I tried it. I, <laughs> I read, I think five or six pages. And again, I said to myself, why? Kelly, why are you doing this to yourself? You don't need to read it. You don't have to, you're not being graded on it. Put it away. So I returned it. I just thought it was so boring. And I know that it's an older book. So, you know, a lot of things have been written now that are similar to that and whatever, it's not her fault, but I just was not interested. And then I remembered hearing about, I'm pretty sure she was the one who got all up in arms about the hashtag disrupt texts movement. And I'm like, take a chill pill. Like, I think she said something like, I'm the first, or my book is the first book that a lot of kids read in school. No, that's the first book that they've ever read. Hey, editing Kelly here. So, um, I found the quote, <laughs> I found S.E. Hinton's tweet and it was a reply to someone who tweeted her and they said, please consider writing a graphic novel version of The Outsiders. My students love your novel and I know I could engage more readers who are reluctant and striving with a graphic novel version. Thank you for this beautiful work. Um, so then S.E. Hinton, this was on October 13th, 2020. So she replied saying, no, The Outsiders is the first book many people read in their life. And it shows them they can read a book, not that they can turn the pages on a graphic novel. So that's the quote I was remembering, um, that, that The Outsiders is the first book many people read in their life. No, ma'am. Yikes, maybe that's why people aren't reading as much anymore. Oh, I'm tired. Okay, moving on. Okay, second last question. This A series you have no interest in reading or a series you started and have DNF'd? Okay, no brainer for me. Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. No, 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 no. I read it. <laughs> I read it for our podcast, BYOB, Bring Your Own Book. And I hated it. I really did. I was so excited to read it. And I had like super high expectations and then it just plummeted. So not really interested. Maybe if she had a new series, I would give that a go because the, the ideas I really liked, it was the execution I didn't like. So I would be open to a different series or a standalone book by her, but I am not going to read the rest of that series. And the last question is a new release you have no interest in reading. This was really hard for me because I have a lot of books coming out this year that I really want to read. But in the end, I picked Realm Breaker by Victoria Aviard. So I read most of The Red Queen or Red Queen, whatever that one is, I'll put it up here. I ended up returning it to the library unfinished. I read like 85% of it. And it was fine, but it really felt like a wannabe Hunger Games, and it wasn't as good. And it's not that you can't have a dystopian teenage book. That's not that. Like, of course you can. I'm not going to hold everything to the Hunger Games, because that's not even one of my favorite series. It was fun, but I'm not a diehard Hunger Games person. So, but to me, I was reading it, and it just felt really flat. I really wanted to care. But I really didn't. So sue me, you know, don't sue me. But I didn't enjoy it. So I mean, if you're gonna get it, let me know, maybe it'll be better. But the cover looks really cool. I'll give her that. But I'm not interested. So sorry. So that's about it for me in the anti TBR tag. You might have noticed that my angle got a little weird near the end here. It's because my phone is about to die. So I have to wrap this up really quick so I can edit it and get it out for you. But if you like what you saw, like and subscribe, shoot me a little comment there if you disagree or agree with anything I said in this video. Uh, if you have any ideas for future topics you want to hear me do, please let me know. And as always, I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!